Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and I've put together ourselves a ragtag team that's going to go ahead to fight the Incoherent Flesh uh, or the Formless Flesh as it's called this time around. And we're going to bring out Ham Hammurabi here who I'm not super super set on so far just because like he can be a little bit difficult. He can be a little bit weird to use. Um... But I think this should work out reasonably well. Um, I think we're going to go with... Purge is pretty good. Um, it buffs accuracy and everything. Uh, we could go with Revenge here. I just want to quickly check out one thing. I've, I've put him with the Legendary Bracer and the Beast Slayer's Ring, but I might change the Beast Slayer's Ring for one of his actual class trinkets just to get some more accuracy, maybe. Um, yeah, let's go for... I don't know, that's... Eh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll forgo the accuracy. It's a bit dangerous, but we'll forgo the accuracy. And we're going to put on... Um, we're going to put on Purge and just try that out. Uh, yeah, so we're going with um, Hammurabi here. He's going to be doing a lot and a lot of damage um, with, with these two set up. Uh, Josephine Crowley, of course, our ringmaster. Going to be going with the Husband's Heart for that extra pro, as well as the Mask of Unending Theatrics, which means that on Neil, which is uh, this one here, we can pull enemies. Um, we gain a self-damage bonus and speed bonus, as well as a 50% chance for that um, plus 20% crit or plus 70% stress relieving skills. And because of that, we're going to put on um, Barry and Leon so that we can get that stress healing skill as well. I think that's going to work out quite nicely. Um, we've got Will June here with the healing, Last Light, of course, and the Silver Syringe. A little bit worried about the uh, low health that Will June has, but this is going to be really good because we have that buff to damage, accuracy, and crit, which is really nice, and also just that fantastic healing. Then Aurora's coming in the back line for two reasons. One, I wanted to try out the Bandit's Rapid Fire um, with the Marcus Family Heirloom for that Blind Fire. I've never really tried out Blind Fire before. could be fun giving her some accuracy and some crit as well. Uh, and also because she has Suppressing Fire, which is very, very good against the flesh. Minus 19 crit and accuracy really, really helps out. So I think we're about ready to go here. I think this is a, a team that can pretty much do everything we need it to. Um, and yeah, yeah, we should, we should be absolutely fine here. The only thing that is a little bit concerning, actually, I'll switch this around now and make sure on that. Uh, let's take off this and put on revenge instead then. Yeah, just I want to make sure that we can activate Neil here. Um, because I don't... It's a difficult one because we get the stress relief in, position, in this position and we get the we get Neil in this position. I think Neil is definitely more preferable. Um, maybe we just take off that for now and put on... I don't know. I, we might as well just leave it on and see what happens. We can switch people around if necessary. Um, either way... Let's uh, let's go in and see if we can fight this flesh and see what happens. Little worried, it's, it's a difficult one, but we're coming in with full level sixes here. We're going to take all of our provisions here. Um, I think it's going to be well worth it. And let's jump on in and see what we've got going on. The spasmodically squirming, braying, and snorting half corpses were heaped each upon the other until at last I was rid of them. The Warrens had become a landfill of snout and hoof gristle in bone, a mountainous, twitching mass of misshapen flesh fusing itself together in the darkness. My goodness. My goodness. We do have one diary entry here as well to go into before we start this off, this, uh, this journey. And this is for Sabrina at Falconer by Blank Gaming. After all the foul beasts I've slain, who could have guessed that some brothers and their fancy weapons could be such an issue? They were so sturdy. I made one uh, look like a Dan porcupine with all those arrows. And they weren't just sturdy. They, were, they almost killed my allies too. Well, what, what, the, what they were isn't really important now because they're maggot food. But what we looted from them really grabbed my eye. For two of them, their weapon had completely broken after the fight, but we salvaged the other two. One was a mace, but not, not quite my cup of tea, but the other one was an arbalist. It was quite heavy, so I couldn't really um, fire with it much, with much precision. But I'd be very intrigued to see who can use it on other adventures. Ooh, and that's exactly why we're using it today. Than I can describe. An so it'll be this here. Of organ, sinew, and bone. Great start. Gotta love it. 
<laughs> Gotta love it, 14 stress off the bat. But we're ready. We didn't get the bleed on us, which is nice. We're ready to jump in. And I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty um, ready with this group. We are observed as well. Something I forgot to say. Amurabi is observed, which is slightly annoying, but we should be okay. So we're going to blind fire here and just see what happens. There you go. We're going to be getting a lot of crits with that and doing a good amount of damage. Um, we're going to go for Neil right off the back. So that, doesn't that break guard? Yes, it does. Prevents guarding. Very, very nice for us. Oh, my goodness. Not what you want to see. Oh, god damn. This is... This has gone so unbelievably poorly. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to... In fact, let's just go for the party heal nonetheless, because it's going to heal us for a good amount. 13 there. That was a really big hit. Uh, Gorgon's Gaze, select a hero. Um, I think we select you for now. Unfortunately, a turn to stone. But we need everyone else's damage. I really like that attack. It's really cool. At you again. Aim at the heal. Nice dodge. Everyone's healed up again. There you go. We're back to full. That was very scary for a brief moment there, but we're back. Right, hit this time. Thank you. That's going to hurt again. Why would you go for her again? Well, him even. Will. Gorgon's Gaze. Um, let's go on you this time. I really love that. That's a really cool mechanic. Right. Uh, so, we've got the plus 20 prop. Did Neil not work? Or did we just miss out on it? I think we just missed out on it, didn't we? There we go. Plus 5 crit. Plus 75 damage. Only lasts for one round. Oh my god. Slightly annoying, but we're healing up to full. This is quite a hard battle, to be honest. Um, let's do that. Oh, dude, I should have given him the accuracy. Why didn't I give him the accuracy? Someone tell me. It's really, really annoying me that he keeps missing. He can't guard that unit, thank God. Nice hit, and the bleed as well. Let's go and get a buff on you. This is some tough stuff. I mean, I knew coming into this, this wouldn't be easy, but... Proving to be more dangerous than I thought. There we go. You're almost dead. Not quite, though. Right, I'm actually going to suppress on you, because you are hitting a lot of crits right now. Uh, let's just finish you off. Oh my goodness, we really should have stacked up some accuracy here. These guys have insane dodge. These guys are dodging literally everything. It's quite annoying, I gotta say. There we go. Get the kill. Burnbreaker coming in once more. You shouldn't be critting all too much for the next few rounds, at least. Um, let's just do that and get that going. Introducing the new star of the show. Sniper shot there. Get that going for some more bleed on you. Good, good. Beastly blur. Nice dodge. 28 damage. Beautiful. 20 damage there. Even better. This is good stuff. You're dead to the bleed now. That's good. I'm just going to heal you up. And we heal the party. Make sure everyone's healed. Maybe we should be starting off with this then, the star of the show. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. And we can crack this open. My goodness, that was not easy. That was not easy. Let's push forward. Gonna cut right through the middle, I think. Such blockages Cut that down. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. They do indeed. Look at them. Right. Got to be careful. I don't know how to feel about camping this time around. I don't really know if we've got any camping skills we want to use. We'll take a look at the room before. We'll see if we come across any uh, any more blood suckers as well. Uh, we'll go up this way. This should be it, but it, it could also be here, so either way, we're fine, I think. As the light gains okay, got another observed guy. 
kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah, this time let's do that to start. Give him the extra damage boost. Look at where it hurts. I was just going to say I know that's going to hurt, but luckily it's on the person that has the most HP, so not as bad. Good dodge on that as well. And we go with blind fire. Nice hit. Heal up. Ren for the old god. Thank you for dodging that. That's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of stress coming, I think. Indeed it is. Probably should have gone for the observed guy there. But this guy can apply bleed, which is somewhat more annoying. I can't remember if we have de-stealth or not. I think, I think uh, Aurora does have it on one skill. Yeah, but we don't have that skill equipped right now. That's fine. Nice hit. Uh, let's let's do this, yeah, because that'll hit you and it'll also stop you from critting us, which is very important. And also stops you from hitting too, which is even better. There we go. Everyone's back to full. I'm already can go for the chop now and hit both of these guys. The Q even, not chop. The tide turns. We've got bleed on us. Not a great bleed. We can uh, we can get get rid of that real quick. And if this hits, yeah, I was about to say, if this hits, we kill them both. Good stuff. Sideshow act. Nice one. Um, blind fire. Let's just go for it. Unfortunate miss there. Unfortunate miss. Nice hit on that though. Beautiful. The drums of doom coming in. Ah, we're okay. We're okay. Get another heal out there before this is over. Yeah, hook it where it hurts really isn't that bad if it doesn't crit. Look at that. Huge healing across the board. And the stress healing as well. Fantastic. Finish you off with a massive hit. That's so cool, that. I love that. When he gets kills, everyone gets a bit of a buff. And there you go. Blind fire for the huge damage. Feeling good about that one. Right, so we know for a fact now that that's the boss down there. So we might as well go down this way. A bit more food. That was really, really good scouting there, because I was going to camp before that, but now I don't have to. Don't have to at all. I love the fact that Last Light's preventing these nighttime ambushes as well. Right, so let's camp. We require only the strength. Um, yeah, we might as well go for that. We're not going to need the food for the rest of anything, are we? Uh, right, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. So, all companions, bonus speed, not, not amazing. Um, none of those are amazing. Extra accuracy and crit, I think, is very important here. So we take that. And then extra dodge and speed. Producer ringmaster trinkets also really good. So I think we go with a coin flip there. You got the dodge. You got the accuracy. Uh, speed, sorry. You got the dodge and you got the speed. That's great. And then, yeah, let's go for a ringmaster trinket here. 20% crit if target is below 40% HP. Oh, that's really good. That's actually a very, very good trinket right there. Um, and I think we produce a random supply and just a shovel. Cool, we're good to go. Decent buffs for everyone there. And this is actually going to be a bit of a shorter episode by the looks of things, but these are the last few bosses, so we're going to just leave it to one, uh, one adventure out. And of course, we come across some bloodsuckers. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? We can set this up for relatively quickly, though. Um, I think we go with blind fire, just see who we hit. Sadly, it's not doing all too much right now. Let's get that going on you. Look at all those buffs. Go with that again. The fan favorite. We could hit... Yeah, I'm going to say I'll go for that. Just because just if we crit, we will kill one of them. We did. Nice one. Gather the blood. They really want to go for a healer. They're really eking for a healer. And a healer does not have a lot of defense. That's the problem, so... Could be an issue. Could get the Crimson Curse here as well. It's plausible. Nice hit. Big crit there. Finish you off. Nice crit again. Need that healing coming out from Will. Uh, let's just go party heal. Should be fine. Indeed it was. Almost back up to full. One more heal. This fight will uh, will solve this for us. Nice crit. This is the damage we're looking for. Skewer. 
that's not the damage we're looking for, but luckily, again, we, we can pretty easily heal back up here. Nice, that's a great heal. And also that bonus healing received. I'm actually not going to um, to go with that. Because uh, I want to get an extra heal here. There you go. Make sure everyone's full before we end, end combat. Or at least near to full. And there we go. There we go. A lot of heirlooms there that we don't need. I'm actually just going to get rid of those. Of the um, right, let's quickly bandage these two up to make sure they've not got any dots on them as we enter the fight. Everyone's in position. We should be good to go here. I'm a little worried about Will, but otherwise, going into this fight, I'm ready. Squirming, contorting, and ever -expanding. This right, uh, so we start, we start off with this. Getting that debuff on is great. Um, I think we start off with the damage on you. I'll be getting as much damage as we possibly can. Okay, that hurt, but not too much. We re resisted the disease as well. Okay, that did four damage. Um, what? I didn't know they had pro. I had no idea they had pro. This might not go so well. I didn't know they had pro. We have, we have brought some bleed with us, so we, we might be okay. But I did not know that they had prop. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's a lot more prop than I was expecting. I did not know that. Oh, God. This is going to go terribly, isn't it? It's going to go real bad. Oh, no, no. Can I have Will's turn, please? When, when is it? When is it Will's turn? When is it? Anyone? Will's turn? Thank you. My goodness. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that they had prop at all. I I just for some reason thought, you know what? It's a ball of flesh. It doesn't have armor, so it won't have prop. Not the case. This is going to take quite some time. This is going to take quite some time. Oh my goodness. This is not good. That's good damage. That's good damage, but they're going to keep healing up if we're not quick. There you go. The bleed good. The bleed here is good. The bleed good. The bleed good. So sometimes it reforms and doesn't get um, more bleed. That's great. And it doesn't get prop, but only some versions of it don't get prop. So not the best. Oh my god, Aurora's getting beat up. Aurora is getting beat up. We have to keep using this though. This is what we brought her for. We don't want to get crit. That attack critting could be super bad for us. I think we get rid of the bleed. We're going to keep using Hugh because it seems to be working all right. Okay. Keep up the heals. Make sure Will doesn't go down. Luckily, we have some heals for Will with Aurora if we need him. They really like attacking Aurora, though, don't they? Oh, the game crashed. Okay. Be right back. Okay, we are back. Let's hope it continues us back from where we just were and doesn't crash again. Um... Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Oh my goodness. I'm just... This is scary, because we just... I did not build right for this. I'm not going to lie. I did not build right for this at all. Um... Yeah, let's set this up. Gives us that massive buff. Oh, it gave us the stress healing, unfortunately. It's the healing that's most worrying right now. Keep our healing up. Keep our healing and prot going. 30% there. Nice damage. Should have looked at that and saw that it didn't have any prot and just full hit it. I should really pay attention to that. We know which versions don't have prot. And we know which versions do. Nice hit. Nice bleed. It's, it's super lucky that we have bleed with the last laugh, really. It, it, it really is. Um, this time, I think we can go for blind fire. 
Doesn't do anything really, does it? Won't leave any point. More of life, that can hurt. It's okay though, we're good. More life again. Yep, had a feeling. That's a lot of bleed on you. But we heal up most of it. And we feel okay. We just need to get rid of that bleed as soon as possible. We go Hue here, but it's not going to do much damage. Oh, double crits though, that's good. Double crits is very good. We are slowly making progress here, but I do say slowly and mean it. <laughs> okay, so we can hit that without getting uh, the, the debuff. Right, get that on you. <clears throat> Double debuff there is really nice. Bit of healing coming in there. Yep, that hurt. It's okay, no blight this time though, that's great. Right, get rid of the bleed. Nice hit on you. Nice amount of bleed. And a nice heal across the board. That is a fantastic heal across the board there. My goodness. Please don't stun him. Please don't stun him. Please don't stun him. Thank goodness. Please don't stun him. Please don't stun him. Thank goodness. And I say we can get a lot of damage off here, so we had to go for that. We gotta keep doing this. Gotta keep making sure they can't crit us. It's, it's keeping us alive, it really is. It may not seem super powerful, but it, it really is doing a lot for us. And I think the, the, the negative crit affects all of them too. I don't think it, I don't think it just affects the segments it hits. The of war nice heal. Bleed, never nice crit hit with bleed. Keeping that bleed up is very important for us right now. God damn, Aurora is taking the full run right now. Nice crit. We're getting it down. We're getting it down. It's taking a little while, but we're getting it there. Languid stroke. Bit more healing coming in there. That's okay. Go with the suppressing fire again. A nice hit once more. More bleed. Okay, the bleeding amount here is great. Nice dodge. Oh, that's because her... Thank God for the dodge. That plus 15 dodge that we got the last three battles. Oh, so useful. So, so useful. Get rid of that real quick. Get a Hue on there. We're not doing a lot of damage with Hamurabi, but he's just here as a supportive role. I knew that the dots were really good on this. I just didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about why that is. Okay, nice. Carry on getting those debuffs. Oh, no. Unfortunate miss there. Luckily, none of these are healing variants, though. They've not transformed into any version that can heal. Double more avoid. Yeah, I thought so. They really want Hamurabi dead, but he he should be okay. Even if he gets stunned here, he didn't. Uh, I'm going to say, the, as soon as the healing comes in. Can be healed, but never get rid of that bleed. In fact, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to self-heal because his damage isn't very good against these two anyways. I'd rather just have the healing. Make sure we're okay. This is better. This is better. He can heal off of this, but we can do a lot of damage. So let's hope we can get the damage before he gets the heals. And there's one of them. Yes, please. Okay, he is 1 HP. Well, 12 HP now, but we should be dead as soon as Samurabi gets a go. Yeah, 2 HP remains. Nice dodge. And even actually let's go lap with that. Nice one. We did it. Beautiful. We did it. We returned to the Hamlet feeling victorious. Coming away with our trophy. We got ourselves a candle and the flesh heart. Candle's actually not too bad at all. Good, good. Well, sometimes I accidentally attack allies. Of course Josephine would get that. God damn. She doesn't give a kick. She didn't give a damn. She just hits whatever's in front of her. If you if you get in the way of her in combat, you're probably going to go down. Quickly check what we got in terms of this. We do have a, a level 4 harlot here that we can bring on board instead of red, which is interesting. find a sanguine romantic whose feats of hedonism and recklessness are It's been a long while, Red, but you're finally uh you're finally actually getting an upgrade, which is bizarre. 
but you finally got upgraded red. Uh, we got ourselves a banner bearer, but I'm not going to take that on at the moment because it's only level four, like second level five from now on. Either way, yeah, really good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a bit of a shorter one, but on these last bosses, I want to leave it as just the boss and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.